Jefferson was Adams as vice president. Yeah. So that's three straight or two straight vice presidents. Then we got James Madison. He was a dork. Yes. He was a huge dork. He was a, the, a nerd. He was a frail, didn't... nervous, think Gerbys. What? He was yeah. Gerbys. Really? He, but this is sick. So basically he had the first, they said his lady was the first first lady, Dolly what? Madison. That was like really like. They would have parties at the White House. They would like try to get. And also, he was Jefferson's mentor. He was another guy like Adams who was there all the time. Yeah, he was like a worker. He kept shit going, and he would write Jefferson and say in 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 France and go, "Can you fucking come home and be yeah. president?" <laughs> and Jefferson would write back and go, "I am just enjoying Paris, yeah. and I don't want to do it." <laughs> That's and then he would float in and just take the fucking big job. And yeah, Madison gets four years, and people are like, dude, you're boring. <laughs> no, America Mad- has no, Madison, never liked nerds. Madison gets two. Don't because... touch me. Don't touch me. Don't ever put your fucking hands on me. I can't touch me. your Don't shoes ever put out your of respect. Fucking hands on me. <laughs> I'm gonna grip you up. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> so Jefferson, Jefferson was to shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> shut up, guys. <laughs> Show him, get out. <laughs> Sean, don't look at me. <laughs> So Madison takes some of the flack because everybody was calling Jefferson a pussy for not fighting England. So he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. What? So America just declares war on England. He nerd raged. He nerd raged on England. <laughs> no. England immediately marches down and burns Washington, <laughs> D.C. Burns it down. Yeah. They burnt the White House yep. immediately. He spaz but, cried. But every, yeah, he spaz cries. He's like, nobody's going to call me gay. But then I, everybody always acts like we lost 1812 just because they burned that shitty White House. Yeah. So First off, Washington, D.C. was a swamp. It was literally a swamp. It was a shithole. No one lived there. Uh, War of 1812, we fucked England up. Fort McHenry, the Star Spangled Banner, all that shit. Battle of oh. New Orleans, we smashed them. Battle dude. of New Orleans was, uh, what's his name? Jackson. Fucking Jackson. Yeah. And Jackson, they were fighting the Battle of New Orleans. The war had been already over for a while. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, the yeah. war was already settled. Oh, yeah, they fought the it treaty in was, was signed. 1815. It was in January of and uh, he was still fighting. Yeah, what? once you get to Jackson, he's fucking he's incredible. wild, incredible. Right. So first Trump, he was the first Trump. Yep. First, so all of a sudden, America. That's our first war as a country. Yeah. So now America well, also, is not before just that because England was just taking pot shots. England would just park a ship uh, outside of like a uh, you know a, a Baltimore or whatever, They're and so just start good. heaving fucking fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> For no reason, <laughs> like dickheads. you know, where do you know Hudson, New York? It's a town yeah. on the Hudson. It has a weird maritime feeling to it. It looks like Nantucket, and that's because it's all people from Nantucket. It used to be this little whaling village in Nantucket, and in the 1810s, the British would just park a ship and just set houses on fire <laughs> for fucking fun. What? So all the people that lived in that town found a they founded Hudson. And they would go out and whale in the ocean, and then they'd drag a whale up the Hudson River. Holy shit. And they would slaughter it and then send it down the river. It was a great way to send whale meat and oil down to here, New, New York, York City. Yeah. And that established a hub in New York, uh, an upper New York State. Hudson became a very big, important. And oh. that's where you ever heard of a guy named Legs Diamond? Because Diamond, yeah. Diamond Street was like the first whore street. It sounded like Hudson became a place for farmers. Mm-hmm. To bring their herds and get laid and get you know just fuck and Whoa, gamble damn. and and have their animals slaughtered and brought down here on boats and then they so go they home got paid. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, so we'll that's skip. what was going on. That's how much things like Whoa. just the English uh, one English ship lobbing fireballs changes a ton oh, of things. Yeah. Yeah, some and they finally needed so. it to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Resulting yeah. in some guy getting ahead. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm never going to be able to face me wife. <laughs> me wife. So Okay, so yeah, so now you got... Now we're kind of so, unified. That was the first time... Madison. The Madison, War of 1812, it was a draw. I mean, they signed a treaty after two years. Nothing and changed, it, though. Just nothing the, changed. The English stopped harassing us. Yeah, though, I but we declared war. They came over. Yeah. We kind of fucked them up, though. I looked at the casualty numbers. It was like double. That doesn't really? matter in the historical story. Of course, wars, of course. But I always, I everybody die. always acts like... Because they got over here and they all died of disease kind of immediately. Like, yeah. They got fucked up. It was hard to... And they were like, this, we, we can't afford to fight this while we're fighting the French truce. Uh, that brings us to Monroe. Monroe was kind of the man. Monroe was the last founding father to be a president. Fought in the Revolutionary War. Was at Valley Forge. 
he came up with the Monroe Doctrine, which is neutrality. Mm-hmm. We got the Americas. Nobody fuck with us. Because they were all worried Europe was going to Spain or Europe was going to come back and take Well, South that was America. all the source of all our problems was these other fucking European countries yeah. being involved in their wars. So he was the first guy to go. Yeah, we're never going to go get want. involved in their wars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of what they were saying was that's like the most lasting policies of any of the founding fathers was like American neutrality. Europe, you can have your wars. We're staying the fuck out. Yeah. Obviously, it lasted 100 years. Okay. Um, added Florida. Monroe got Florida from the Spanish. Nice. So the reason that happened, though, was because of Jackson, because Jackson was taking his troops to Florida and Monroe was sending a guy on a you know, horse. Or I don't know if they had telegrams <laughs> yeah. yet, but it was take him eight days to say, leave Florida alone. We're trying to negotiate yeah. a, um, a price. But finally, Monroe decided we don't want Florida anymore. They're asking this. The Span- Spanish owned it. We can't afford to buy it. I can't justify it. I'm not going to get it through Congress. And Jackson was writing back and saying, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it militarily. I'm going to attack them. And Monroe said, no, you may not. I'm the president. You may not do that. And Jackson just ignored him. (laughs) And he did it. He took Florida. And then he showed up in D.C. and was like, right, that was good, right? And Monroe's like, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, he's like, but also I bought it. Good job. Yeah, also I think he we paid, paid for it. We paid for it, and it was a while, mess. While Jackson what? was while Jackson was like <laughs> fucking with them, the Spanish were like, to Monroe, they were like, yeah, you can buy it. And he just went and killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he was down fighting them, and he was like, yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna but sell it. There's two generals that did that. Him and MacArthur did that too. Just did shit without permission. Yeah, and then showed up and said, "Right, Mr. President, wasn't that the plan that was all along?" Good. And he was like, "Yes, it was the plan all along. Whatever you want, <laughs> whatever you want." So you got that. But this is interesting because Monroe was the first part that. Uh, this is where the slavery issue starts to take mm-hmm. real issue because it was the Missouri Compromise. So Missouri was becoming a state. It was another slave state, pro-slave. Hell yeah! Be a real dud of an we're live, dude. So we're Three forty-six. It's not gonna be a dud, dude. Come on, sorry. come on. Sorry. It's going to be good. Episode 346? This is natural, yeah. 346. That number's not. Yeah, we also, we like He's... gave ourselves about 100 extra just to look legit. <laughs> That's like when you start comedy, like how long have we been doing? Like six years? <laughs> the the goal is in six months to match Rogan. We're going to make episode 1,249. That's smart. Yeah. Because like, damn, these guys mean business. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, are we going? Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. We're live. We've been live. Oh, shit. We've been dude. live this whole time, Yeah, dude. what are you doing here? I don't what are you know. doing in New York? I don't know what I'm doing. The gayest city in the world, dude. I, damn. <laughs> damn. I mean, there's a lot of gays. You're not, you're not completely wrong. This is uh, last night when we walked through that park. What was that park? Washington Square Park? Yeah, pretty gay mm, down there. I love it. What's going gay. on? Just gay. Just gay stuff. Just like, well, like dudes wearing masks and stuff? <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm Skateboarders, some jugglers. <laughs> pretty gay. Mm-hmm. Vince, did you ever go down there? You seem I lo- like a guy. I there. love that park. Yeah. <laughs> Shane acts shocked when I saw one time. One time I went there on 420, and there was a big group of black guys passing around <laughs> joints, yeah. and I smoked it with them, and it was the the most diversity I've had. Mm. That's pretty cool. Nice man. That's not- <laughs> but one of them, <laughs> Francis Ellis, uh, everybody. This is one guess, of them Francis. had a joint. It was like a like one of those a joint, the biggest joint I've ever seen. Really, a bunch like of black a, guys are the biggest joint you ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were all passing around, and everyone was like Snapchatting themselves, being like, "Look at all the weed I have in my mouth." Damn, dude. Yeah, it was fun. Dude. And, and that didn't happen to us last night. <laughs> not this porn. No. Yeah, lost. That's like a lost in the hood porn. Well, do you ever, you ever hang out? Yeah, you almost got black. <laughs> yeah. Man, the quality on those videos, by the way, I don't know how they do it. Pretty the good. The quality huh? is so good. It's on those incredible videos. quality. Yeah. It's 4K. Those gentlemen, I think are that's ISIS's old producer. Well, <laughs> they invested <laughs> so back into the product. <laughs> <laughs> and our other guest, Ari Shafir, we wanted to get the two least similar guests possible. Mm. That's pretty close. Francis and Ari. <laughs> Harvard <laughs> Lacrosse, Barstool, Ari Shafir. <laughs> Harvard Lacrosse or Holocaust. Yes. <laughs> one, oh, time, yeah. one time I saw uh, That's right. Ari Sorry. walking <laughs> out of Home Depot. Do you remember that? Uh yeah, in in on Twenty Third Street. Yeah, and I I, I re- walk across the street to say hi to you, and you had like your arm full of like light fixtures or something, and I was like, "Hey, Ari, uh, I, I good to see you." And you're like, Ugh. "And uh, I, That's I a pretty good impression." <laughs> you were spooked. You were spooked by me. Yeah. And I was like, I, I work at Barstool. It's been, you know, we've, we've met each other at the office. And you're like, okay, whatever. And I think you have a light that shines off you. You had a cast tough. on your arm too. Remember that? 
You had a what? In the yeah, arm? I remember. You had a cast yeah, on your yeah, arm. Yeah. yeah. He was injured. What happened? I kill it, dude. No, really. Yeah, I, I could remember. kill it in life, so. Did you fall? Yeah, I skied my fucking ass off. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I lost the race right at the end. But right, maybe you guys winning. are similar. There you go. You hurt your arm skiing. Yeah. You yeah, know, it's just fucking fun. You ski? You guys ski? I haven't skied since I, I was thought like I eight. could ski. I went with the <clears throat> lady up to Killington in Vermont nice. and immediately fell off the lift. You and fell just off the laid lift? There. I couldn't get up. Oh. Really? I was like a fat turtle. Top of the lift. At the top of the right? bottom. No, on the way up, I was like, oh shit, I don't know how to ski. And you jumped? And no, as soon, no, I, I it's like <laughs> off the lift. You know what dismount. I mean? When it, you dismount. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, it just so went, fell off the went straight and fell while everyone, like, people had to get out of the way. <laughs> what was your next move? Uh, stand up. His, it took a very long time to stand up and then uh, <laughs> just slowly get down the hill. Did you pizza? <laughs> yeah, pizza the whole way. Dude, that's <laughs> a I didn't long... fall again, though. Dude, I, I mean, just a had good, to, like, stop every time. A good seconds. pizza will keep you from falling. Yeah. yeah. That's one of those moments where, like, hey, sorry, we have a noose over here. Like, sweet, thank you, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> and the girl, yeah, the girl I was with peed her pants when I fell and couldn't get up. It's she so literally fucking wet funny. her pants. Laughing at you. Yes. Oh. Just standing above me, cackling in a snowsuit. That's how every like bad guys from eighty skiing movies made. Dude. <laughs> it's just like you're just down at the lodge doing. Dude. I'm gonna build a fucking development. I fell off one drunk. It was with Vernazisi. Really? Oh. Yeah. And I, he was on the one ahead of me, and then I went on, and I was like trying to like get my pole, like the high level move where you put your poles underneath you, yeah. and I kept like, and then it just pushed me, and I was just down. <laughs> And I, some guy fucking like, shoved my head down because the thing was going to really? hit me. He's like, fuck, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to roll. And they're like, stop the lift. Like, fuck. Oh, no. And then Ren Aziz is like, it's Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir.com. <laughs> you can check out all his dates. Like, Come on, dude. Damn. Damn. Not a lot of Jewish skiers, I don't think. No. Seems like you guys. We ski a lot. We just don't really? go high level. We don't go high. We don't go like compete. But yeah, we mm-hmm. all ski. Ski yeah, and tennis. Skiers, yeah. Really? Yeah. Country one of the one of the best ski lodges in the country is actually called the Stein Erickson in Deer Valley. Mm. Really? Yeah. Never heard I, of just I ran into German. Mitt Romney in the waffle. Yeah, have you ever skied there. Jack Frost though? No. Big Boulder? Are these real? <laughs> Yeah, they're the Poconos, dude. Uh, like a they're some of the premier skiing. Yeah, if you know a little about skiing, Jack Frost, Big Boulder are the top places in the Poconos, you're... Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the Poconos yeah, pretty good? No, apparently it's not. Uh, Remember right. I told you I can do a black diamond? Yeah, I know you're yeah. wrong. Poconos black diamonds are like, if you go anywhere else, they're like a I know you square. can't do it. You don't think I'm a black diamond skier? No. Dude, I can definitely. When's the last skied, time you went skiing? I've shredded diamond. Actually, I thought it was when, when I was eight, I went skiing. That's when the ladies. Right. You my took a black diamond when you were the eight? The pants. No, no. Because I did it when I was 14. That was the only other time after that. That's when I was doing it. And uh, on the way up, I was with like some old man. He like was smoking weed. And I was like, can I hit that? And he let me smoke weed with him. And I was really? Like, Fuck yeah. Yeah, I was 14. Oh, nice. Damn. Crushed black diamond that day. It was, it was tight. The time before that, I got actually, I literally got ran over by a snowboarder and I cried on the mountain. I was like, I'm never doing that again. He tried to this do is, a, I had fallen. He tried doing a jump and just fucking trucked me. This is like uh, one time we were sitting there, me, O'Connor, and Beezer were in our living room watching mm-hmm. like the X Games run. We were watching snowboarding and Beezer was like, I could fucking drop in on that and hit that. No we were like, dude, what no, idiot. you couldn't. What the fuck? And he, dork. to this day, is like, oh, yo, sorry, cool, dude. No. Dude, Jack Frost Big Boulder is different. You could do a black diamond there. I went to New York one time up like up there to ski, and I like I was like I can do a black diamond. I had to like just sit on my butt and like slide down. It was terrifying. <laughs> that sounds like mm. an on-location fucking challenge. We do. We could ski. That, that would be sick, mm. dude. Yeah. I'd this winter, to, I'll I'd love go to see you. What you wear to ski? I bet you. The, I wore this. The I gap, wore jeans. The gap <laughs> between his goggles and the and his helmet is so wide. What a helmet, dude? What's that? So you wear a helmet? Wearing a helmet? Yes. Yeah, you're a helmet dude, guy. You, what? you gotta wear jacket. one. No, I don't wear a helmet. You should. You should. Do you no, I'm trying to look. Uh, time out. Did you? He's trying to push this on me. Of course, I ski constantly. You wear a helmet. You have to. I grew up with law now. No, he's not. I didn't wear a helmet. What did you do when skiing? Dude, we go two years ago. Yeah, man, you wear blue jeans. You wear blue jeans. Oh my god. Yeah. Embarrassing. <laughs> Don't you dare wear a scarf. And I know <laughs> I don't wear a scarf anymore. You're not delivering mail. True. <laughs> you you and I have actually skied with us the same guy once. That Ooh. guy out in, dude, in British Francis Columbia. Francis is obsessed with you, dude. <laughs> you started it. You were like, you two are going to be best friends. <laughs> you never said that. Don't turn on me. Oh, <laughs> that's a track. Remember that time you met at Home Depot? You said that. Yeah. Those are your words. You tried to push the helmet on me also? Because yeah, you were like, what are your, what's your helmet look like? <laughs> Nobody wears a helmet, dork. I'm telling you, your helmet tilt, probably terrible. You, you were the guy in football who looked through the, the bottom tier of the face mask. Am I wrong? What? Dude, no. Yeah, Helmets what? are for pussies, but I'll wear one, though. But it, they're for pussies. There's no way around it. 
You're a fucking <laughs> yeah. dork. You wear bike helmets, dude. I'd rather I die, dude. No, I'd rather so go did. brain dead, dude. British catch Columbia. A second. Hold on a second. Soda's actually made fun of me for having the perfect football helmet head. <laughs> <laughs> like in the face mask, <laughs> yeah. dude. You, 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 you can rock a leather helmet yeah. real well. <laughs> so you followed him. Where were you guys? Well, I, I went skiing out at Whistler, and we met. There was a comedy Whistler. show there that oh, I yeah, did, yeah, yeah, and it was amazing. So much fucking coke there, dude. All those people. It's like half Australians. All they do is blow. Mm. All they do is blow out every fucking day. Mm-hmm. That's true. And Australians love cocaine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Australians rule. They always get that kind of shit, and then when they finally get anywhere else like it's so fucking cheap here they can't stop doing it <laughs> they might pay the most for drugs they might i think in australia everything's like it's probably like prison it's like five times what it should cost that's my opener in australia i'm like you know it's general rule of thumb is the more expensive thing is the better quality is and with that in mind the cocaine in australia must be by far the best in the world <laughs> yeah, <laughs> garbage cut yeah i was in it. i was in brazil and there was australians there and like one of the dudes I was with, he was like, luckily he was like South American. So he went into the favela to buy Coke. No. And these Australian dudes were like so fucking happy. He came back and it was like Jesus coming back to you on Palm Sunday. They love it. And they were, I just remember all the Australians were coked out in this hostel. So Well, that could also just be like Australians. Nah, I know. I believe that they were. They were. But they, they also were. always have that energy. True. They, you know? they vacation. They holiday. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Good point. Oh, hey, I brought you guys presents. I forgot. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, it's under nice. your chair. Hold on. I thought you were saying like Australians that do that. I was like, Polaris? I thought he was doing a bit. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I went to a brothel in Australia at um, <laughs> 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. It was the wrong time. You don't, How'd it go? They were, I mean, that's like their, that's like their C squad, you know? Everyone else who's, who matters has gone off and, to bed. What did you do sexually? Um, <laughs> we, did, we didn't, we, we sat in the waiting room and they parade out the women one after another. You kind of interview them. them. And we passed on all. Oh, of you them. went to and a. No, I thought you said hostel. And we were so embarrassed that we weren't going to do anything. We left them like fifty. Like, bucks. None of these girls. Oh, look oh like ours time out. So you went. You said you. I thought you were saying you went to a hostel. You were in no, a, brothel. a brothel. Where at? In in Sydney, Australia. Australia. It's legal. It's legal. and you saw all the women. You said no, thank you. Yeah, they were. It was so bright. I mean. It was so Dude. garish in the middle of 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. We actually went straight <laughs> from the. <laughs> First of all, I got y'all some Pink Lady Apples because everybody nice. likes some fucking Pink Lady Apples. Appreciate I that. Actually do like this. Yeah, Matt, I know you're into flair, so I got you a fucking geranium. Thank you, man. Whoa, yeah. no dude. Problem. How'd you know? I was there with you. Too. You, know, Thanks, share, you got your fucking allergies. So oh, whoa. Yeah, dude. Wow. Oh. Fuck yeah, what man. The fuck. Yeah, how many guests do you have to bring fucking beers? You're the only one ever. Yeah, Thanks. man. That was <laughs> don't fucking do awesome. That in, no, don't, not in right mic, now, man? Francis. <laughs> this is not Barstool, dude. Dude. This isn't <laughs> fuck around time. I'm sorry, everybody. That's crazy. I'm ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in the brothel and the women came out and you're like, what else do you got? Well, here's what happened. Wow. Francis is I so rich. I Francis is just, just like, no, next. <laughs> Dude, oh. even, even you would have turned these women what, down. What, I mean, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? I got you there. <laughs> me, bitch. What the What's fuck, up, man? No, I'm kidding. Dude. I'm kidding. What the fuck? Why are you doing <laughs> stuff like that? <laughs> I thought this was a roast or something. What? what? Dude, no. we just vibe and hang out and like yeah, pump each man, other up, chill. man. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about like is. rejecting prostitutes and spitting on them. I would have made love to them, to be honest. <laughs> I would have paid my money and said, "Let's go." I well, would. It was. How do you? I don't know how you say that to a human. Just like, no. Yeah. I came in here to fuck for money, but I'm not going to now because of the way you look. Yeah, dude. I think <laughs> we we thought it was like um, we thought it was like going into a department store, you know, department where store. You're, <laughs> where you're like, well, it's been really nice, but we're gonna we're gonna come back. You window shopped. Yeah, we did. And come back. Francis or, Francis is a lot like O'Connor. Like if he talks about pussy at all, I'm just like, ew, dude, what? <laughs> like no matter how, no matter. She was lovely, and we had. I went down on her. I had oral sex with her. Hmm. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's, yeah, true. I'm That's being okay. Rude. That's where, okay. No, where are you from? Not. I feel bad for what I said. Where are you from? Uh, Maine. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, wh- why? What, what? What is it about Maine that I'm wearing on my forehead? I don't know. A redhead, I guess. <laughs> I feel like, this Maine replete with redheads. Are we? <laughs> I don't know. You just got a Maine vibe, dude. Yeah, dude. I wouldn't have said Atlanta. <laughs> like that would have surprised me. Yeah, Maine or Alaska would have been. Yeah, Maine or Alaska, Iceland. Yeah, Iceland. There's a it lot of them. Um, no, we, we the the thing they said in the brothel was they that they all the women had two different like modes. 
Yeah. And they were and they would Sick come out. out and give you their pitch. <laughs> And then they'd be like, my name's whatever, and I do this. I do beast I, mode. No, I do, <laughs> I do the girlfriend experience. No. Yeah, that's, and they were like, it's very, you know, sensual. We can cuddle, kiss, nice. oral, and all that, and, and then all that. <laughs> kind of getting hard. Go ahead. Hope you like me. You know, let me know. See you later. And then they leave. And then the next girl came in and, like, gave us the same pitch. Ooh. And then three other girls came in, same pitch. And then finally, the, the madam, who was, like, organizing the whole thing, came in and was like, all right. And then say hello. This is yeah. So uh, is it? Well, again, we do, us. we do have to adapt. What's, What's up, up bro? <laughs> <laughs> Go get Matt, dude. Messy. He don't want it, dude. He does not want this. You know that we'll go into a full. It'll be a full <laughs> on camera wrestling match. <laughs> there you go. You like that little Good horse fight? Is that yeah. it? That's what you're doing for us. Oh. Wow, Matt. Take it, dude. Protect the neck. Shane just takes it, dude. dude. That's real alpha right there, dude. Protect the neck. Break his shit. Dude, Break some, some of his studio. <laughs> <laughs> Break the lights. <laughs> Matt, get out of this, dude. You're on camera. Everyone's going to see this. <laughs> You have to, you have to not get it. Ah, ah, grabbing my nose. Grabbing Yo, my nose. take his glasses off. They're Ray Bans. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yes, Matt. No. Escape, dude. The ultimate alpha. <laughs> yes. I knew it would come to this. <laughs> the talked in t-shirt. Show <laughs> This is exactly what we needed. Matt, take down, dude. Take him down. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna gas him soon, dude. All I gotta do is hold on. No way, dude. I don't gas. This way. He does gas. I got for days. Oh shit. Oh shit. Come on, Matt. Punch him. Punch his face. Oh, I wish I would have your back. Dude, we're talking about the weight differential. <laughs> yeah, Lewis, how much do you weigh right now? 240. Yes, Matt. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, Matt. Oh, no. Boy, that clutch. Boy, that clutch. The draw for now. <laughs> <laughs> Guillotine him, dude. There we go. He wishes. There we go. Fucking he can guillotine me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're good. I'm I knew it would come to that. Girl. Ooh. There you go, dude. <laughs> there you go, dude. Didn't get tapped. <laughs> I knew it would come to that. What you feel about that? <laughs> what do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, look at this, dude. That's dude. so gay. Dude, gloating. Couldn't stop me. Dude, he, you could dude, easily beat up Lewis. He opened with a fucking... He choked you to start it. Exactly. From Escaped. you just sitting down doing a podcast. He, he, you you got out of it. Me. Yeah. Got out of it. You... You know, and then you started pressing the fucking issue. Exactly. That's a that's a ten nine round, McCusker. I would say so. That's a ten nine. He won that round. Starting from a disadvantaged position. That's a ten nine round. Yeah, you started behind him, choking him, and still lost, dude. Now he's gonna go talk to Bisping. Is he really? He's got to go talk to a, a, a UFC legend. Really? And he can't even beat a guy after he started by choking him. <laughs> Don't. Dude, I'm not wrestling you. <laughs> I am not wrestling you, dude. <laughs> Protect the neck, Shane. <laughs> Protect the neck. <laughs> Stop, yes. dude. Yes. Stop. <laughs> Get him, dude. <laughs> he tapped you. No. He's <laughs> more than that, bitch. Dude, we're, gonna, we're really going to fight. I am so this. excited to, to actually do something to him now. <laughs> <laughs>
play basketball. Three years? You have no rhythm. Okay. Wow, 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 Wes. You don't play basketball. Three years. You have no rhythm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Australian Jamie, dump that footage. <laughs> dump that footage immediately. <laughs> will do. No. Absolutely dump oh, that. Because so <laughs> he will fucking <laughs> use that forever. So his father. Uh, yeah, I, it was a Spike Lee joint. It was a Spike Lee joint. It was Cornell West. Lee's, it was when Cornell West. Spike Lee's <laughs> so little. It'd be so funny. <laughs> of him getting out and banging that prostitute. Like, uh. Dude, I was watching a Tyler Perry Drips. doc last night. And there was like watching a doc about... It was like it was just on in my house. I like, saw that. Dude, and they were all talking shit on him. Like he never once... He never thought of his people. It's like, dude. And he came on. That's he was the only like, thing he's ever thought of. And what's also like, look, he's like, he never gave anything to his people. I'm like, dude, for real? He gave you your finest comedy. Medea, Medea is nice, dude. Medea. Medea. It, Medea. it was just so weird that like, he's just, he's like, and he came on. He's like, I'm just trying to put out movies. White people can just put out comedies and it can just be funny. He's like, I have to now like build in certain messages where he's like, dude, man. True. It's bullshit. I was sitting there watching. It's like. Pfft. We should start hitting white actors with that. True. <laughs> Fucking Jack Black never gave shit back to the community, dude. I didn't see a dime off Tenacious, dude. <laughs> True. He just never really thought about it. Dude, this guy was like, you got to come in here with weapons. You're a black man in the entertainment. But he never, I never saw his weapons before. And it's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking In the talking? entertainment industry? It's like, what are you talking about? And who, I didn't even know who the guy was. He was like sitting on like a lion chair. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Here's a black guy. He's like, I also direct films. I have my weapons for the entertainment industry. I have guns just in case one of these... NYU grads gets a grad. What are we talking about? I have no idea. I was just watching and being like, damn, dude, that's fu- that sucks. You can't just put out great movies. Yeah. You can't just wear a dress and just be funny as hell. Give me my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch Medea? Yeah. Bust out the gun. I've seen some Medeas. Give me my gun. I bet you beat me. The yeah, amount I, of hours watched Medeas. I might have clo- I might have clocked almost all of them. Really? Yeah. I, I saw the musical too. The musical is something to be said about the musical. You saw the Medea musical on on TV, yeah. Oh, Medea musical is fucking good. Now that we both love musicals, I watched the Medea musical. I said Medea musical. I like funny bad. musicals. True. I like South Park musicals. I like all of them. I used to make fun of my dad. My dad knows all of. My dad has a flat head, by the way, from being left on yeah. his back as a baby. <laughs> they, he said they were just laying in front of the TV. Yeah. And he, dude, so what happened he, to my nephew? <laughs> real, dude, for real, yeah. he has that. And he, dude, he knows every fucking word to every musical. He, just flat he would just stare at the ceiling and listen to musicals. He would just lay, he's like, my parents would just lay me in front of the TV. And he would just fucking, he's, he knows every word of every musical, dude. It's crazy. Like the sound, what's the one called? The Sound of... Sound uh, of Music? Sound of Music. He knows all those songs. Is that? And we'd always make fun of him for it. That's Doe, A Deer, A Female, yeah. Deer. Yeah, I'd always make fun of him for Ray, it. Then Britney show me a couple musicals. Dude, Mamma Mia. <laughs> oh my God. You like Mamma Mia? I want to go to Greece because of Mamma Mia. I saw Mamma Mia and I was like, dude, we got to go to Greece. You're watching these on TV? Yeah. TV Mamma musicals. Mia the movie? Yeah. All right. That's different than the actual musical. It's a musical though. They're singing the I know, time. but that's not... I, I was imagining you're watching like a play. Mm-mm. We've only seen musicals. Watching musicals on TV is fucking... I saw... Where it's at. My, my family made me go see Chicago live when see I was Chicago. a kid and I was... Fuming at Chicago. This is the biggest piece of shit I've ever. I, I hated. I was too young. I hated him when I was younger. I was. Like, I liked I, him when I was young, and it was a field trip. We had to go see Anne Frank the play live. What's that the shit play? Ruled. Is it's, it one set? It's pretty easy. Yeah, one set. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to do. <laughs> yeah, it was great. What was she doing? She was like, "I'm Just up hiding. in this motherfucking attic." She was like, "I'm gay <laughs> and afraid of the Nazis," <laughs> and that imprinted a lot of my classmates, and now they. Say that. True. They grew up into adults and they go, I'm gay and there's Nazis everywhere. <laughs> Everyone's just LARPing as Anne Frank. True. <laughs> I can't go outside. <laughs> I'm doing Uber Eats to get away from the Nazis. <laughs> I, I, mean, that. <laughs> I am, dude. I can't wait to fucking eat. I'm so hungry. I, dude, I burned fucking 1,100 calories today. What'd you 1,134. do? 1,134. Did you ever hear of Orange Theory? Yes. I know. Do you know what that is? I didn't know what it is. Is that bikes or no, yeah, dude? I thought it's it was not, SoulCycle. Not. I had no. I had no clue. I'd always see it and be like, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah, dude. You go into this. Brittany's done it, and then she was like, "You have to check it out." And I was like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, I was like, I'll check it out." Dude, you go in and it's like they hook you up to a heart rate monitor, and then you're just in this like, it looks like you're in a spaceship. They have like these weird orange lights everywhere. And then there's like different stations, so you have to do a class. 
where you're competing with people based on like your output and your heart, dude. It was I went nuts, dude. Yeah, I, bet. I had so much fun. What did you do? What were the rowing machine running on a treadmill and then like a little like uh, like a little like circuit of like body weight stuff, and then at the end you had girls to get... crush body weight stuff. They were pretty They're nasty. Really good Although, at... dude, you think that though? You, I was, I mean, I was looking at if them. it had your calorie and your heart rate on it, you were probably dominating. No, they were good. They, they were. Yeah. I was getting crushed in terms of I was burning a lot of calories because because I'm a man. Yeah. And I'm just fucking huge. It's hard. Huge, I'm a man. Strong as hell. The Strong as an ox. But I would see these people because there's gray, I think green, something, orange, and then red. And like, dude, these ladies would be, red is like your max heart rate. Yeah. There was ladies who were just in the red the whole fucking time. It was nuts, dude. Fighting demons. I think so. They're working out all those demons. Uh, dude, it was pretty scary. I was like, because I was scared to get into red. I was in or orange is when you get your splat. Yeah. If you get 12 splats. If you get in the orange zone, you get your splat. If you get 12 splats, that means your body's going to burn 300 more calories just that day because you hit that, like, VO2 max or whatever. Mm. But I was, I obviously got 18 splats, but I saw the lady. <laughs> dude, there was ladies in the obviously. red the whole time. I think there's ladies who got splats dumped. If you get the... dumped, you just hit the red yeah, for fucking, oh. like, six months. If you're dumped, you're in the red. <laughs> dude, yeah. these chicks were in the red the whole, it was an hour long. I thought it was going to die, dude. And then you get to do, like, a Lady workouts race. are impossible. They're, they are. They're what the, so the fuck hard, are they dude. doing? It's crazy. Every time you see a woman on the treadmill, she's been on there for three fucking hours. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It's true. I don't know how they do it, dude. Dude, it was so fucking intense. We had to do a relay race at the end where like you'd go do a thing and then run on the treadmill and then you tag your person off the rower machine. You take off the rower. It was. I can't believe you do this shit. It's so fun. I can't believe it. I love it, dude. I know. I was, I'm, That's now, what I'm saying. I can't believe it. Dude, I used to be like, no, but now I really am. I'm just collecting experiences. Anything yeah. Brittany's like, try this out. I'm like, for sure. Yeah. I'll literally try anything out. And dude, Orange Theory. I mean, You're obviously. Yes, man. I, mean, I might be a yes man now. No, no. I mean, isn't that a movie? Yeah, saying yeah. yes. Saying yes and just going. I know what you mean. Saying yes to you everything. You collect some experiences. Exactly. If there's radical honesty. True. I can't say no. Don't do radical honesty. Oh, I won't. You can't <laughs> do that. Stay away from that. No, no, no. You can't do What's that. radical honesty? There's guys who, like, it's called are radical honesty. Totally honesty. Dudes who are just totally 1,000% yeah, honest. Yeah, that's autism. <laughs> yeah. That's all that that is. Yeah, true. <laughs> like, actually, what I'm up to is a cool new thing. It's like, nah, <laughs> bro, you have autism. True, yeah. Poly's supposed to be radical honesty. Being polyamorous? Being poly. or It's called ethical non-monogamy. I don't, I've, I don't, I've never seen it work. Yeah, it's, it's just it's dudes being be, like. Being greedy. Yeah. I was, I heard when I was. In one of the clubs, uh, they were the, the one person working there. I mean, I, I don't want to like give stuff away, but they're like a lot of the headliners are coming through now, and a lot of them are like they hit you with like, "I'm in an open relationship." Pretty tight. It is pretty tight. She's <laughs> like, "Would your Would your wife be cool with that?" I was like, "No." <laughs> Jesus. They weren't asking like. Yeah, I know, but. Or I was telling her somebody else asked me like, "Would your wife be cool with that?" I was like, "No." That was the first dude. time I really encountered. Fuck no. Polyamory it was in a green room. Really? Of all comics. I've told this story. So many, this was the same time I immediately fought a girl about women's soccer and men's soccer. <laughs> we were in a green room. This one dude was sitting there. He's like, yeah, I'm Polly. They were all talking about that book, Sex, Sex, at, at, Dawn. Sex at Dawn. Everybody yeah. was into that. I was like, this is, this is gibberish. Yeah. This is just it's, silly. I was like, crap. you're Polly? And he's like, I am. My girlfriends are all not. And I was like. Dude. Just say you're cheating and you're <laughs> shitting. It's fine. Just be shitty. Yeah. And then while I'm talking to this guy and I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah. A girl walks in and is like, the men's team lost again, yet they're still getting paid more than the women's soccer team. And I just instantly was like, <laughs> you, you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And then I didn't make the finals of that comedy competition. I was like, what the fuck? I literally was just fighting. They everyone. fucked you. I was fighting everyone the entire time. They fucked you. I was a. You were right, though. I was a sore sport that whole time. You, dude, if you were not a sore sport at a comedy contest. It was after, after parties every night. All the comics were just being gay. Yeah. I was mean to everybody there. It's perfect. It's not a great look for me, yeah, but, but it worked I, out. It's amazing you could do that, though. I would have just withdrawn immediately. And just I was like, I was furious. This was at, like, oh, this was a Laughing Skull. Yeah, I remember. This is yeah. when I was like, I did it. Yeah. I got the Laughing Skull Festival. I was like, I'm, <laughs> I I'm famous. <laughs> and I got down there, and I was like, I fucking hate everyone here. I fucking lost. And I, yeah. Running into a dude seriously being like, I'm Polly and being like, come on, man. 
Yeah. Can we just locker room talk right now? Yeah. You're just fucking a ton of. And chicks. it was there was also just five other female comics in the room. Being so like, he was like, I'm actually Polly. I was like, Wait, you're cheating. Yeah. If your girlfriends are not Polly. Yeah. What are you talking about? And even still, it's just a bunch of people being selfish together. It's like, yeah. okay, so you guys are all being selfish together. Yeah. And eventually, you're going to like one person more than the other, and it's going to really hurt the other person. To be like, you're cool, but there's these three other chicks that I really like to fuck yeah. more than you. Like, if I'm horny and they're not available, I'll just then I'll, I'll just fuck do you. It. Then I'll dump in you. Yeah, I'll just, dude. I was <laughs> reading. I'm still. I'm reading the Denial of Death again by Ernest Becker, and he was talking about how women have to deal with the fact that a dude can like completely separate their entire inner reality and being and just being like yeah i don't want anything to do with that and then like use their bodies yeah and it's the thing women are always on guard of because a guy can just take their personality and being like i'm not interested in any of your thoughts whatsoever i don't care and then they, they can pretend they are and then be like yeah i just wanted to just stick my penis in you i was like yeah i never thought about it that way I'm just take really like, you whole... never thought of that I mean, obviously, I've, I've put that into practice my entire life. Obviously, but I never thought about <laughs> yeah. it from that perspective. It's always been like she's kind of annoying, but when we had sex, yeah. And... But that's from a male's perspective. That's writing that. Uh, yeah, I yeah. don't think women care of their inner reality. I th of course, they want to be heard. Yeah, the uh, yeah, the just yeah, the, uh, definitely a tough breed of like human. Just like just even that I, I've I went to England, and just there's like. Just something about in, like. Did you go to like Scotland and Ireland? Yeah, we went went to Scotland. Those we just guys, did this little tour, dude. Those guys are. It's like just fucking, like a, there's like a toughness to the trying to fight, dude. Patchy, yeah. patchy, hairy, yellow teeth, yeah. hard drinking. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, they don't give a fuck over there. Yeah, yeah, they try to fight you. Part of the culture. It's part of the culture. To yeah. fight. That was not part of my culture growing up. I was a fat theater kid. You're a cool guy. I was a cool goth. You were. I, I would. I was the. I was the toughest of the goths. That is a dangerous goth. Like I was, that is like the yeah. most scary goth because if you get beat up by a goth, it's very embarrassing. Yeah, but and I was like, you but can beat up is, most of the. Is the goth the monaguillo, the one that works with the like the, boys, with the black the yeah. eyeliner? Oh no, no. What is a goth? I thought it was. You know when you go to church, there's the two kids doing the bells underneath the that, table. Yeah. Is that that's, a goth? No, that's a. No, no. uh, How you call those? Talk about an altar boy. Those are. <laughs> Those are victims, Cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were, yeah. What is a goth? Because I thought I thought the goth like, was like black eyeliner. They black wear like hair. Marilyn Manson t-shirts. Like, oh, you were an emo. Emo. Kind of like emo, but oh, darker, not as gay. It was emo. Cooler than emo. If you would have been on my a little, a little more manly no, than emo. Can emo. we admit that goth is more manly than emo? I would have yeah, ruined your life if you would have been glass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. I was going yeah. after though. I was like, come on, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah. like the ones I was talking about. Yeah. They do the same things. Yes. The only yeah. difference is like one is doing by choice, the other ones are doing by pressure. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, god! Damn, that sucks. You were a goth. Well, I was in a real goth. I, there was goths, and the goths didn't accept me. No, no. Like so, like I would, like I would wear like Marilyn Manson t-shirts and wear like eyeliner. But I was like, yo, those goths are gay. So you were, uh, you oh, okay. No, I was, I, I walked, I, you know, I walked to the beat of my own drum. <laughs> you were a loner. I was, I was nominated for most individualistic in my class superlatives. Nice. Yeah. So they, yeah. So like, they, it was, it was. I on, didn't win. It was on record. You didn't have friends. <laughs> Second place, like number one loner. They, they, you have a diploma that says you were a lonely fuck. <laughs> they, they could have just put virgin in the yearbook, but they didn't do that. Damn. Yeah, like, I don't think not many chicks are fucking goth out there. What'd you say? Not many, not many chicks are looking for goth out, out not there. Not many, but goth chicks at the time. I lost my virginity to a goth girl in high school. How was that? People like love goth cutting, the, cutting your arms and fucking. At the yeah, same we, time? Li we 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 listened to Pantera Cemetery Gates wow. on repeat. To Pantera. For to the Pantera. First time. For the first I can't time. fuck to that. Ooh. I don't think my D will go hard with that music. I don't yeah. like. I can't listen. I can't hear. Rah, rah, rah. It will, it will, it will, ah. <laughs> I can't listen to music. You can't listen to music. While I you can't have sex? listen to music. Yeah. Oh, dude! It throws me. I off. just want to do what Leonardo DiCaprio does. I want to put the earbuds in and that's fucking. Nice. That's some, that I could handle. That is awesome. Put a mask and I. Dude, like I got a rub and tug. <laughs> I got a rub and tug <laughs> one time. Leather yeah. jeans. Yeah. <laughs> and I put music on, dude. I, while I got the massage and the rub and tug, I had music on the whole time. It was so disassociative. It was so disrespectful to this woman. Yeah, it was the best. I can do that without the fucking heavy metal on my ears. Yeah, I I despise that music. I can't even be I near. Like it. It. Yeah. I got one friend out of my whole group that listened to heavy metal. When we're in the car, 
I told me, you put your music, I kill you. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> and, and not for the million. <laughs> I came in a car because they put, they also, that specific music, they crank it at a hundred. I can listen to that shit. I like Bob Marley. I like to be chilling. Yeah, I like keep talking. Yeah. And I, and I talk about how I want. It was crazy. That's actually, that's nice. My action was, my friend Action, the rapper, he was laughing at me the other day because I kind of like, I have like, they give me like a CD of just beats by Alchemist. It's yeah. just beats. It's like, it's like jazz for, yeah. for instance. And sometimes I'm listening to that shit and I start rapping in the car and I kind of like confess that to them, bro. They keep, they have some making fun of me. Over there. Wait, like, you rap? I don't rap. I know, but I, I don't know. I get, but can I get some bars? Fuck. Let me get excited. I, I can all give right, you some. All right. I, I, that was I gotta make laugh. very happy. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bob my head and be like, yo, that's good, dude. <laughs> when, when I went back home, we did a we did a like a carpool interview yeah. and the guy something happened and he told me like well you can sing. I said, I can sing for shit. And I started talking shit about the guy. Yeah. And in my head, some of us were like, fuck, that's actually pretty good. It's like, <laughs> nah. We did that, we did that on this podcast where if you make your friend genuinely try to sing is the best they can, it's hilarious. Yeah. It's impossible. Try to sing. Me? Yeah, please. You want me to try to sing right now? Sing any song the best you can. <clears throat> but it can't be like, it can't no, be No, I'm like, not going to fake it. No, I know, but I'm saying it can't be like, you can't pick like Johnny Cash. No, yeah. Where like it's, it's No, easy, a song that has notes. Yeah, like singer. No, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to just pick some monotone yeah. shit. You want yeah. something with notes. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Go for it. There. Out in the darkness, a fugitive running, fallen from grace. What the fuck song is this? Yeah, this is good. Fallen from God, Lord be sing. my yeah. witness, I never shall yield, till we come face to face, till we come face to face. I don't know that much you need to see. Oh, what is it, Rob? It's called Stars. You sang like this? Oh, oh wait, you were a theater kid. I was in theater, yeah. <laughs> Wow. I mean, you can actually... I no, I can't sing for shit, but I, I did use that song as an audition in yeah. high school. For example, I there's no one song I know that many lyrics. <laughs> I The most I know is like, who let the dog suck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's all I got. Sing it again, though. Sing it with like, try to sing it well. Actually, I was pretty upset I didn't get to get into my last fight. Yeah. Because that was the... Who my, the me and my son were like walking on the lobby... And we're like, who let the dogs out? And then my son will be like a little fucking eight-year-old skinny yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> it was epic. And I was trying to do that for him. Yeah. And this fucking ass was run out of time on ESPN. Damn. Shame on you. So how you'll get the next one. Fuck, yeah. Fighting for the belt, dude. That's exciting. And That's we talked last time. There, there's, there's a pool boy here. No, I haven't talked I about have a pool, pool boy. boy, and he comes here. And What's the deal? It's very uncomfortable because that when it's just he's right there. Is he just, short, stocky? Is he tall? Is he, he's a young white. Nice. And I sit here and I gaze at him. Clean cut. He is a clean cut white. That's not bad. Yeah. What's the, what's his uh, what's his mo? I, I you know I, you know I worked for the pool company. I can tell you. I don't know. It seemed like his mo Skim? was to clean the fuck. Yeah, it was just skimming Skim? the leaves. Did you fuck with the filter? I I didn't. I I got here while he was working. Okay. And uh, yeah, I went out and I said, hey, yo, how are you? I'm Shane. Did you get yeah. the shake? Hey, bud, how you doing? Said, it's nice to meet you. And then I sat in the chair just facing out. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. <laughs> I had to, I closed the blinds while he was <laughs> while he was out there. He saw me. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I was just going to stare at the pool boy, which is, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think it, I mean, if, of course it's sexual. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not even it's your fault. It's just me and a pool boy in this house alone. He's cleaning. It's not even your fault. <laughs> I wasn't like getting turned on by him, but of course I knew he was thinking like that guy's probably gay. Situationally, yeah, staring at me. There was something there. There was a pressure there. There is a pressure. There's that a must be so funny. Being a pool guy coming over, it's just the lady at home. Dude, must be so sexual. I thought it would be. They, you'd be surprised how hard they ignore you. I, I know, was, but that makes it even more sexual. True. It's like she's I, trying to ignore me right now. Oh, I told you I fell in the pool one time. I believe it. I fucking fell in, dude. I got in trouble. Were you trying to reach for his yeah, I was trying, far I just, skim? No, what? What were you going for? There was like these little jets, and I had to like unscrew it, so I was leaning in like my upper part of my body. And I <laughs> Wait, fucking, you went head first. I went head first and <laughs> fell in in all my clothes. 
That was the Buzzman's paradise. He got fucked. He like told my boss. My boss was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Jumping yeah. in the pool. It was a hot day. Oh. The guy was like, "I know you jumped. You're cooling off." Buzzman was giving me shit. Me yeah. like, had to cool off, didn't you? And I'm yeah. like, "No, dude, I fucking fell. No, I fell like a doofus. I fucking leaned too far over in my yeah. shitty job, and I fell into the pool. It did feel good. That was hot as hell. That is nice. But yeah, they sent me out to do pools, and I remember being like, "Dude, I can skim them and shit, but like, I don't know how to work the, the filters." Yeah. They're like. We'll just go yeah, out with this other go out guy there and rip frogs and rats out of the filter. That's all I wanted to do. Was I shadowed this one dude yeah. for like months, and the guy was like, all right. So now you know how filters work, right? And I was like, yeah, never did filters. I just went to the pools and skimmed them and like touch shit, and was like, all right, and left. And the, I got it. the guy was pissed. Damn, he's like, you didn't fucking replace that whole thing. Could have fucking blew. I'm like, well, I told you I didn't have to fucking do that shit, dude. <laughs> dude, guy was an asshole. He was, I've, t- I've talked about this endlessly. The guy who had a failing pool business that I worked for as a young man. Yeah. It was so sad. His business was failing? Porno. Co- yeah, dude. He had a fucking, it was a lot. So there was two businesses on the lot. Now there's actually, there's a restaurant there. A pool guy and a guy who got into the internet early on. Who did nice. like online dating, shit like that. Like It was like singles in your yeah. area, but like legit ones in like the 90s. It's fucking, Started shooting sorry, software goddamn porn. jackhammer's annoying. It's all right. Yeah. I didn't even know. I thought, you know, so that's a familiar sound of me, dude. Yeah, of course. You're shower. tough. All right, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so tough. Oh, you're talking about shower sex? <laughs> yeah, that was you this morning. No. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I was like, I thought you were big time on all your manual labor. No, no, no. <laughs> I was talking about my shit. My hands are soft, bro. I lost all my fucking trench no, I saw you hitting that bag, dude. You still got fucking concrete that's fists. the fight that's the fight of me though yeah that's just the dog that's just me. the natural dog in you, dude. <laughs> no, i was saying that was me in the shower <laughs> jackhammers are tough man. were you going hard in the shower uh i was you know what yeah i started clapping i started off going <laughs> started clapping some cheeks with the water clapping. you go oh this sounds like that's, i'm fucking bringing it that was the thing yeah, dude. yeah. And yeah so I, I was glad this morning i'm not taking jackhammer cred but i was clapping this morning i was clapping up a little bit did you get the did you brace your feet against the wall? How did you brace your feet? Are we I going standing nice flat feet? I had a nice grip. I had. I, I, just had, I know you're big into fucking traction. I need the starting block. Yeah. I did not have a starting block, but I yeah. was I'm trying to think. No, I didn't have a starting block. I was actually kind of holding on. Ooh. Yeah, I was holding on. Very romantic shower. Yeah, it was. I was just fucking full grip. I so haven't. Nice. Had, I don't. I don't have a lot of romantic shower. My shower here is not very romantic. Really? It's one of those big glass ones. There's fucking mirrors everywhere. I just look at my. I just look at my naked, disgusting body. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. And I get out and put clothes on. I'm, like, I'm fine. I don't, yeah. I don't need to make any adjustments. I have. The, I have this weird. Ever. I'll always be like, dude. I'm pretty jacked. If I yeah. start getting fat, I'm like, I'm actually fucking. I'm just bulking. I, I swear to God. I, and then I, I will hit a point where I go, oh, man, it's gotten away from me. I'm God not too bulk. <laughs> it's gotten away from me. <laughs> but yeah, I've told you about that guy's pool company where he his friend started an online just like erotica website. And he was like, you know, remember this. five G's. I'll make you a, like it was like 50 50 partner in this website. The guy didn't have any cash. The pool guy was killing it at the time was like, yeah, man, that shit's for weirdos. Cool out. And then the pool guy was like the internet's for dumbasses. Yeah. And then nice. that guy's site, he started making like, it was something crazy, like $10,000 a night, just yeah. online doing like ads and bullshit. And the pool guy's company failed and they were, we would pull up and they were right next to each other. And then oh. we'd pull up to that guy shooting babes and bikinis in a barn. And then oh. we would like pull up like dirty from painting a pool while this guy like couldn't make ends meet. And you see the guy would drive fucking, I've told you, I definitely have told you, you drive these gas powered uh, remote control cars and just crash them. He was like laughing, having the most fun ever. Fuck. And this dude was out here, which is like me and some other guy painting pools and just being like, he was so fucking miserable, bro. Yeah. So miserable. That would be terrible. You paint the, you paint the pool? Yeah. I didn't so, even know about that. I, I, I didn't, didn't know dude, you did that. And then when you're in a pool painting it, it's 30 degrees hotter than it is outside. Oh, fuck. The white light or the white paint reflects yeah. the heat in a weird way. Dude, it was... The most miserable job I've ever had. That sounds From the terrible. Outs, the work was miserable. The staff was miserable. And this guy running it was purely fucking How miserable. long did you work there? Two months in the summer. I was supposed yeah. to do all summer. I made it two months. And I was like, I went to the beach. And I was like, I retired. <laughs> yeah, I retired Fuck forever. Me. I was out, dude. And he fucked me, I think, on like a week of pay. On like, it was this weird thing where he's like, you work this week. And then on the second week, you'll get this week's pay. Yeah. He like held a week's pay for some reason. He's like, and then I'll get And then when I quit he was just like all right dude later and i was like you owe me a yeah. check he's like no i don't and i was like well i can't prove that i don't have that. zero legends <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. almost positive i should get another paycheck because you held my first one and i got paid you know i was like kind of a sick move though 
Yeah, if I were him, I would. He had the stuttering like, pool. He had a stuttering jacuzzi salesman. <laughs> it was a guy. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was fun. Great. But, <laughs> and then I take the, I take the, but I mean, because if you can prove, you know, there, there's some, they gotta be some kind of like repercussion for what the, some crazy shit you say. Yeah. Unless you're saying it for fun. Yeah. To your friends. Yeah. That's different. But if you don't know me, don't tell me my daughter this and that. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. That's what Gardini was saying before you got here. He was saying, <laughs> before you got here, he was like, I fucking hate it. He was speaking it. out He's of pocket about your daughter. I don't want to say what Gardini's. he was saying. Dude, really? Yeah, After that, the one night we met, I thought we were cool. <laughs> that was a great night. That was a great night. Yeah, that was a fun fucking That was night. a good night. <laughs> we had the, the first time we met was good, too. We were drinking, it was a fuck. steakhouse. We were getting fucking we were shit on, I, on wine. I got excited. I mean, we were leaving the fight. Joe is like, yo, you want to go get steaks? I'm like, fuck with Joe Ron, I eat the fucking yeah. liver. <laughs> and I do eat liver a lot, but we went to the steakhouse and everybody was, you know, kind of shy. We are talking some shit and then, you know, give me some wine. <laughs> After the, And it's like two in the morning because the fight's end late. I didn't realize that we was fucking. We were there all night. Like maybe four, four or five bottles of wine. Yes. Yeah. The room full of testosterone. A bunch of lives yeah, Kumi, sipping on wine. Kumi was in there. Yo, Kumi, Kumi was in, was in there. I'll yeah. oh, do two bottles of wine. Kumi later. was getting wild. <laughs> Eating meat. It was, yeah. it was a good night. That was a good night. Yeah. We're going to do that again. A wine drunk is fucking. That's catches it, up dude. to you. You don't oh, realize yeah. it. I only drink wine. I'm, I'm kind of good at, like, I know when to stop, but wine will fool you. Yeah. Like, two cups get you drunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And honestly, I don't regularly drink that type of wine. I, I, I drink natural wine. We hit you harder, but there's no hangover. Mm. That one, my wife was laughing. The next day I was fucking, <laughs> my head was out of my, 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 my brain. I was fucked up. Yeah, the dude. headache of wine is crazy. Yeah, I, dude, I love, I love drinking wine, dude. I'm fucking, I, I drank a bottle and a half of wine last night. I, we, did, <laughs> we, did, we did that fucking fight. Um, yeah. we, did, we did a comedian fighting event this past weekend, and I, I fought another comedian. And um, like fighting, fighting, yeah, boxing, yeah, box. we box each other, oh, yeah, 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 holy shit. And uh, Tim Butterly, yeah, Tim Butterly, shout, shout out Tim, Tim Butterly, Butterly. My, my, my new son, yeah, yeah, the loser, the <laughs> loser is being <laughs> legally adopted, <laughs> the loser is being legally adopted by the winner, so we're filing paperwork right now, so I'm legally adopting him. That's, that's fucking wild. Is that actually gonna happen? That's actually happening. He's my fucking son. That Look at his Twitter right now, it says, Louis, or it says Tim Gomez, you can't, uh, you can't do it. You don't think so? No, I mean, I think you legally, you probably can, but no, I think I legally can. I Why think can't? if he's smart, he should just take run you away. Like, like no, I'm gonna also, I'm definitely cutting him out of my will. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, be careful with that. He might fucking kill you and take all your Maybe. money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we, dude, I've been just fucking since then. I've been eating everything in sight. Yeah, you looked, you look so handsome. Dude, I put that. on 22 pounds in three days. <laughs> 22 pounds in three days. I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah. I was like mad when I saw you. Oh, because I was, I was like, I like jacked. fat. I like fat, Lewis. Yeah. That's a, I mean, you're going to see people worse than you so you feel better about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are facts. Yeah. Yeah. Those are facts. Shane's a bully. Yeah. He is a bully. No, I like my friends being fat. Yeah. I don't you, like you, them to do well. You weren't worse than you. I, yes. I see, yeah. Which now there's like broke. three of them. I you got them, <laughs> You went and broke yeah, without yeah. a job. <laughs> Fucking feeling sorry for them. Yeah. So you're like, oh, yeah, I fucking love this guy. Yeah. Why? It's it's, I, like, I want, he was I, fucking, he it comes was like in waves. skinny. I wonder hand. if it does that with fighters too. Like, cause like, you know, I always see similarities between like comedy and fighters, right? It's a one man sport. Like, you you know, you, you do it for the love of it. There's no money in the beginning. You're just fucking yeah. doing it for this crazy masochistic reason. You're just sort of like, you know, going in there to do it. And uh, there you come, like you get to a certain level of success where you start to go like, oh shit, I can be happy for my friends, right? right, right, right. And yes. then everyone's like, oh, this is pretty good. And then your friends get that much more successful. Like Shane's so successful that I stopped being happy for him now. <laughs> I, was, I was watching, I was watching um, Selling Sunset with my girlfriend, dude, it's a show on Netflix. It's a very it's, gay show. It's a very gay yeah. show, yeah. Dude. <laughs> but so, and I'm, I'm watching and and I, I, I paused, I was like, babe, I was like, I was like, I don't know if I can watch the show. I was like, I was like, I don't know that I'm ever going to be able to afford a $15 million house. And it's kind of like, I don't know if it's like inspiring me or if it's bumming me out. And just as we paused it, literally Nikki Glazer walked into the room to buy a $15 million house. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, turn I off, hate my off. life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that show is crazy. They sell crazy houses. But Wait, you watch it too? No, I just hear about it. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 They, they asked me to be on one, on, like, a, like just 
chill with them. And I was like, I'm not doing that. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can't be around that type of people. They're all hot chicks, smoking hot fucking. I mean, but depressed. <laughs> Yeah. That's what's depressing. You don't want to watch that. That's like the that's that's like the couple shows. You don't want to see that shit. Yeah, it's. I, I just I th having that much like enough. Fifteen million dollars for a house is is wild. Just a wild amount of I money. I mean, that means you at least gotta have fifty. I mean, who yeah. knows? I don't even know. You these, can, these numbers sound like magic numbers. It's like bazillions. Dude, you can after have the first check. Million. After the first check, that's ten grand for a weekend. You're oh. like you're like oh. I thought the it's top. The I thought the top because I was opening for Big J for years. Yeah. I thought two thousand dollars a weekend was the most you could make up until three that years be, ago. That, that <laughs> three was. years ago, I was yeah. like, "Dude, two k a weekend? Me too. What? That's exactly what I thought." <laughs> but I mean, that's, yeah. that's 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 letter you climb. I mean, I fought for eighty bucks. Yeah, yeah, eighty bucks. I I my 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 MMA debut. They paid me seventy bucks. Then for a few fights, I fought for like for free. My first fight out of the country in Panama was. 95 it wasn't even 100 Damn and wow. i paid my flight tickets out of my hotel yeah. not me so my sponsor but I mean, that's what it is with comedy in the beginning you you're literally going on the road you're losing money you know you buy your flight you buy you just to have the opportunity to get up and, yeah. and to just cut your teeth and to you know try to figure it all out and then slowly but surely after a decade you go oh now i'm making a yeah. little bit of money and then it just doesn't feel like enough I mean, but exactly, but because we always want more. I like I like comparing it though to like doing a fight in Panama. Yeah, dude. My oh, first so open mic was just like your fight in Panama yeah, for yeah. ninety dollars. <laughs> I had to do a black room in Philadelphia. <laughs> so I understand. I mean, but it's whoever is more consistent that get it to the other side because yeah. everybody has the same desire, but not everybody's willing to fucking walk the walk and stay there because it's fucking shitty. Yeah. yeah. But I mean And it's like embarrassing. People are like, You went to Cleveland for eighty bucks to bomb in an to all black fight room. an Ecuadorian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to. Yeah, my dad. Every time I'd leave, I, I'd be. He he asked me every show I do. He'd be like, "How much are they paying you?" And I'd be like, "I hate when my dad like, asked me at the beginning." Nothing. He's nothing. like, "How much are you making?" I'm like, "Ah, oh, fuck, got two hundred. Now they don't ask. No. Now that my Anymore. dad. Now my dad will ask me. I'll be like, I'll go see my dad. I'll be like, you want to know how much they fucking pay me on this one? <laughs> I'll buy your house right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy you, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll make yeah. you my slave. Yeah. Uh, kick in the chest yeah. now. Uh. Say that. Come on, daddy. Who's daddy now? Huh? <laughs> For real. That's what I say to Just my dad. Just money. I say, pull your pants down, Phil. That's what I say to my dad. I'm like, yo, I'll buy your house right now, dude. He's like, Shane, you're an asshole. <laughs> It's like no, you. Used Shane to told me you. he told me that he'd give me a million dollars if he killed himself. He said just no strings attached. You don't remember this? I promised you. You promised me if you said if you kill yourself, you give me a million dollars, no strings attached, before Fuck. you killed yourself without saying anything. Can I get All some right, of that? Deal. I help you kill yourself. I promise. What? If you kill yourself, yeah, which is actually like it's a decent bet. Can I get some of that too? Yeah, I I'll help send you. you some I help money. you die. I'll send you some money. I help you die. <laughs> Just a million, dude. Who gives a shit? Will For, you beat me to death? <laughs> I'm. If you if you put up the money back here and you sign that I, that, that you wanted to do it, euthanasia. I fucking step on your face until you melt. <laughs> How quickly? I don't use soccer shoes. The one with the metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You step on your Take fucking your time head. Out. Take your time. Chino, how quickly could you beat Shane to death with your bare hands? Like, in, in, a, in a very realistic way. Like, I'm asking. For real, for real. It's a real question. I think to I, death. I think he's a order, big guy. I know. One I, I, I think in order to kill somebody, it's not. It's not like twenty punches. You gotta like solid for a minute nonstop. You have to take a break, get some Fuck water. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it, it's not easy to kill somebody. That's why when people act yeah. like gangs, and I'm like, I mean, killing people is not cool. Well, yeah. kill but for a million dogs, and if he's accepting it, I'm like, well, just accepting it. I like you bad. That minute will get far. <laughs> I think to kill him with your bare hands, you'd probably just choke him. Yeah, that would be quick. The quickest way. Yeah. But then. You gotta really choke him because if you don't, if you're choking a little bit, he will come back. And that's fucked up. You gotta fucking <laughs> no, him you back. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, you're counting your money. He wakes up. You're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I use 